turning your Bibles with me to the word of the Lord that will be found in the book of Luke. That's Luke chapter 9 and beginning at verse number 23. Luke 9 and 23. Luke chapter 9 and beginning at verse number 23. The word of the Lord says, and he said to them all, if any will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same will save it. For what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and in his father's and of the holy angels. I want to talk to you for a few moments here today. Crucify your flesh. Crucify your flesh. Here in the word of the Lord today, God is talking to us and telling us to crucify the flesh. Crucify our flesh and let God be glorified within our lives. I remember years ago starting out in ministry and I remember listening to the voice of God and hearing God talk to me. God told me years ago uh, that he's called me to the ministry to preach the word of the Lord. And I was uh, running from God and uh, doing everything I can not to preach this word. Then one day, one day, one day, uh, a man came to me with a box of Bible tracks, a big box of Bible tracks. And I said, Lord, uh, is this going to be my ministry passing out Bible tracts? I heard the voice of God say, go up to Krogus on Harper Road. Ask the manager there, can you pass out Bible tracts in front of the store? The man said, yes. I began to pass out Bible tracts, telling people that Jesus loves you. Amen. Jesus loves you. Just handing out Bible tracts and telling them that God loves them. My friend, I had to deny my flesh. Mm -hmm. Because, see, uh, in reality, I wanted more. Come on, somebody. You know what I'm talking about. Uh huh. I wanted more. But God said, I want you to start right here. Hallelujah. Passing out. Bible tracts, and I still pass out tracts, pass out CDs and whatever I can to put into the hands of somebody that they may hear the word of God. But first, it starts with denying yourself. Hallelujah. There's an individual out there, God has called you to the ministry, but uh, you said, God, you called me to the nursing home. But the nursing home is not where you really want to be. Uh huh. Or you call me to go into the hospitals and tell people that Jesus loves them. Or you call me uh, to a street ministry. Hallelujah. Where there's not very many people. See, we're looking for the popularity of people. Uh huh. But I'm here to tell you, my friend, that you must deny yourself. Uh huh. Your will has to be the will of God. God, I want to be in your divine will. I want to walk in the will. God said, take up your cross daily. 
Hallelujah. And follow after me. Hallelujah. Amen. See, the enemy does not want us to follow Jesus uh, in his divine will for our lives. We are looking for the popularity of people. Uh, we are looking for people to call our name. We're looking for people to say, yes, that is a powerful woman, man of God. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you, my friend, it's not in all that. You've got to begin to crucify your flesh. Come down from where you are. Hallelujah. You said, Elder McCray, uh, the nursing home ministry, it, it, it's a good ministry, but nobody really sees me. Nobody really knows who I am. Uh, nobody really knows how powerful I really am. I want to be in front of the people so that they can see me. I want to be able to build a big, large church uh -huh, where there's thousands of members. I want, I want to uh, have my name worldwide known. Hallelujah. But my friend, you may get all that and it may come to you. Hallelujah. But you must first deny yourself. Glory be to God. And open up your spirit to the will of God. Open up your spirit to God's will, not your will, but let God's will be done in your life. Your life is so important. Uh huh. Your life, your ministry is so important to God. And what God has instilled, glory to God, within you is so powerful. Mm -hmm. But you've got to stay in the will of God. You've got to stay in God's perfect will. Hallelujah. Not your own will, but God's will. Look here at the word of the Lord, my friends. The Bible says, and he said to them, all, oh, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Yourself has to get out of the way. Mm -hmm. You know how it is where when people are calling your name and you have great popularity and you have great fame and all of the people are shouting and screaming your name uh huh, and your flesh gets right in the way. Your flesh gets in the way and you don't see God's will for your life no more. Uh, you become frustrated. You become uh, 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 frustrated at God. God, why is this happening to me? Because I'm not feeling the love of God like I used to. Uh -huh. It's because flesh has gotten in the way. Uh huh. The, the 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 nursing home ministry ain't powerful enough. Passing out Bible tracts ain't power. Oh glory to God! Ain't powerful enough. Hallelujah. We want worldwide fame. We want to be known in England and Russia and Germany and France and uh, Paris and Italy. We want worldwide fame. Mm hmm. But my friend, it first starts with you. Denying yourself. Taking up your cross daily. Hallelujah. You say, Adam McCray, you say, it's taking too long. It's taking too long. God, you're taking too long. <laughs> you're taking too long, God, for people to know who I am. It's not about you, but it's about Jesus. It's not about what man thinks about you, but it's what God thinks about your life. My friend, there are so many beautiful ministers here in the city of Beckley, West Virginia. I love them all. Every last one of them. I have the love of God for every minister, every preacher, every Bible teacher. Amen. Every nursing home preacher. Amen. Everyone. Glory be to God. I have the love of God for every man, woman of God here in the city of Beckley, West Virginia, and in our surrounding cities and beyond. Hallelujah. But my friend, you've got to deny that flesh. That flesh has to come down. Hallelujah. And you've got to begin to pick up the word of God and say, Lord, here I am. God called me years ago, amen, to the tent revival. And I remember doing the tent revival Hallelujah. I had a dream that I, I bought this tent, uh, told my wife about it, and I, I bought the tent. I had to go and purchase it. 
uh, gave the man half of my money, and then I didn't. Re I said, now is he going to bring me the other half? Amen. I said, I'll give you the other half when I come, but I left the deposit. Amen. The tent was brought to me, put it up. God bless. Hallelujah. It was hard work. Come on, somebody. It was hard work. I don't know how all of the things came. The PA system, I don't know how they all came. The chairs start coming. Pulpits start. I don't know how it all came. But I was praying to God. God, use me. Amen. And the tent revival became a ministry and it became a blessing. Hallelujah. But, my friend, it started with me denying my flesh. I was still working a regular job from 5 o'clock in the morning to 1 in the afternoon. Hallelujah. Was still uh, going to my local church on Sunday mornings. My friend, it started with giving God the praise and the glory and becoming obedient to my pastor. Amen. Praise God. I'm telling you, my friend, these things, you have to deny your flesh. Mm -hmm. Because everybody ain't going to call your name. Everybody don't know who you are, but God knows who you are. So if you're in that nursing home ministry, amen, and you're saying, well, this is not big enough for me. You know how we talk, how we do. This is not powerful enough for me. I don't want world fame. I want uh, to be in the pulpit. I want to be able to lay hands on the sick and they recover. I want to see folks come out of wheelchairs and be delivered. My friend, you must deny your flesh. And let God be God. And God has that elevation for you if it be the will of God. Look here at the word of the Lord. And the Bible said, and he said to them, all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow after me. This is a daily walk. Uh huh. This is this is a walk that you walk daily for God. It's not just today and then tomorrow gone. This is a daily walk with God. But you got to deny yourself. You got to deny the flesh. Take the flesh and be uh, denied that flesh, and say, God, here I am. I want to do the will of God. Amen. I, I, I want God's perfect will in my life. I, see, we're looking at what other people have and what other folks have done and what others are doing. And then it fogs up our mind. Look at him. Look at the, no, my friend, look at Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at God because God is looking and working in your favor. He's looking and working in your favor. But you got to stay obedient to the will of God. Stay obedient to the ways of God. Amen. Stay obedient to your church, your pastor. Amen. Not the church, not, not obedient to the church, but stay obedient to the will of God. Amen. And, and, stay, and stay obedient to the things of God. Uh, stay obedient to your pastor. Amen. And listen for instructions. Uh, hallelujah. From the will of God. And open up your spirit wide to the things of the Lord. Glory be to God. You say, well, the McCray, uh, uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm up next for a, a promotion uh, in my church to become an elder. I'm up next. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it's the will of God. Amen. It's the will of God for you to be promoted uh, in the ministry. Hallelujah. But you have to uh, stay uh, submissive to the will of God. My time is coming and going. I praise God for you so much. I pray that you have gotten a blessing out of the word of the Lord on today. I pray for you. Amen. Praise God. You pray for me. Amen. That I would do the will of God in every area and in every step of my life. Amen. The will of God. May God bless you. Heaven to smile upon your life. Amen. Crucify that flesh. Until next time. Crucify your flesh. May God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Thank you for tuning in. Amen.